What's up guys? So today we're gonna have a nice little update video for you. Just gonna kind of sort of summarize the big things. I don't really like doing these videos because I feel like they're not that interesting unless you play the server, which uh, what do we got right now? Five people on right now. I think everyone's here. I don't think Grinch is AFK. I'm not sure. This dad's uh, smelly might be AFK, but um, yeah, so like if, if, the, if you're playing a server, this would probably be interesting to watch, but if not, it might not be interesting. So I'm going to try to show the big things that, you know, will be cool and whatnot. So um, so with the recent updates, we'll go back to the last one. There is the first raid boss uh, was released, Tecton. Let me uh, show you how to get there. Uh, so if you're a max player, you can just teleport to um, you can just teleport to the Orb of Light through the max cape. Um, if not, you can get here through Edgeville. Just t walk, teleport to Edgeville and walk here. This is Ice Mountain. Hit here, and then there you go. You have Tecton. So I'm going to include a little bit of footage now of Tecton. All right, so we're here at Tecton. We've got the food gear. Obviously, you'd want food. I had this thing, which is kind of overpowered food that uh, I use for development purposes. Uh, max gear, I think you can get... Um, the Elijah Spear Shield is not 100% necessary, but it does help you. Um, Tecton drains your prayer, and if you have a Spear Shield on, it will not drain your prayer. So I'll show you how that works. It's not aggressive if you're 126 combat. I don't think I've changed that yet. Um, I, I think I'm going to make it so it's just not aggressive overall. Because if you're 123 and you're running here, it's going to start attacking you, and that's kind of stupid. Uh, so yeah, this thing has 2,000 health. It originally had 2,500, but I lowered it a bit because I realized no one was there was really wasn't many people doing it. And I think it's such a cool, you know, it's a cool aspect. It's a cool monster. It's raids. I, I want people to be doing it. So you have to mage it. A mage does two times damage. Everything else uh, being ranged melee, they do half. Uh, the main strategy is to freeze it, even though it does have a, a feature where it sucks you in. But um, as you saw right there, oh, that, that's... Do I not have quick prayer set up? I do not have quick prayer set up. The fortunate... Th I was going to say the unfortunate thing is sometimes when he stuns you he doesn't uh, he doesn't stop stunning you. Get this thing frozen. So yeah, it's not too hard of a boss. You just have to really pay attention. Um, if you have multiple people, it's a lot better because obviously there's more people for him to try to target and there's more people freezing it at one time. Um, the first instance of fighting is probably the easiest because you're literally just sitting here and getting tons of hits off on him. And then once he starts moving around and he sucks you in and whatnot, it, it gets a little more difficult. But uh, he can stun you. Um, when he does stun you, he's more likely to keep stunning you, so you really want to sort of freeze it and bail. Um, it, it is kind of helpful just because it's not on purpose, but he does t tend to do that. So if you actually do get stunned, you're not going to die necessarily. Um, he can't shut your prayer off. As you saw, and then if you saw in the chat box, your spirit shield keeps you from draining your prayer points. So if you see him up here, I'm floating around 91. We'll see if we can't get him to trigger that attack. Or we'll just uh, successfully kill it because we're pro. But as you can see, it isn't too difficult, and you can solo it. I am in the max gear, but even with... Um, I mean, with magic, a lot of the, the armor, in my opinion, is very... Should not get too freaking cocky. <laughs> um, as you saw, my prayer dropped down a lot right there. That's what these spear shows for. It's not 100% necessary, but it is a nice little bonus to have it, so... I am not... Oh, the casting room. I think it says equip the shield. Okay, frozen. Whew. Eat the food. Ooh. Ooh. That's see when he sucks you in, that's when you really have to be concerned. That's why it's best to try, try to constantly, like, move back. To not give him the opportunity. I need to put my P ring on the last second just so I can get, like, an Elder Maul drop. But as you saw, he didn't drain my prayer that time. He can still take your prayer off, but he can't drain it if you have the spiritual on. I'm actually really surprised that this bit of code worked. I mean, if you... You know me, I don't really... I, I, it was the first time I'd ever attempted something like that. Like, where, like, you had, like, a... a you know, an item had, a, had like, some sort of, like, extra bonus and whatnot. And it actually worked out pretty well. And one thing I totally forgot to mention in the video you're about to watch in this site... Ah, uh, never mind. We'll just finish this kill up. It's gonna make this video way too long. But whatever. Let 
be a P ring if you're wondering has like super uh, it's like a super ring of wealth so hopefully I can't snack an item just to show up over you make everybody think I got it 100% legit even though I'm not on my legit account so it doesn't even matter just for the lols no 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 get away from me get away from me it used to have this um, uh, glitch where it would get stuck and I'm not noticing that now so my, my fix for it did work I never tested it but I just kind of hoped it would work and it seems like it's working because it's not getting stuck it would get stuck to where it just like stopped attacking you for like 20 seconds and you just can just pile hits and it, it was clearly like not intentional so I'm glad that that's removed okay but as you can see this one isn't really that bad just had to pay attention it's very possible you'll die I definitely recommend the max cape because you can get back here easily whereas the uh, the um, going to edge feels kind of annoying I'll probably add another teleport in the future something more convenient for people who aren't max and uh, on X <laughs> They don't even know that. So, yeah, that's uh Oh, we actually got like a rare drop table as well. That's crazy. If you didn't know, there's a rare drop table in the game. The admin bar. And then the rest of the updates from that bench were mostly bug fixes. Uh, so we'll move on to the next stuff, the more uh, interesting things. So the superior Slayer creatures are released. Uh, there are six of them currently available. The... Uh, Greater Abyssal Demon, which is obviously from Abyssal Demons. The Night Beast, which is from Dark Beasts. The Insatiated Mutated Blood Veil, which is from Mutated Blood Veils. The Nuclear Smoke Devil, which is from Smoke Devils. The Abhorrent Spectre, which is from Aberrant Spectres. And then the Cave Abomination, which is from Cave Horrors. So I'll uh, show you how it works. Basically, whenever you're killing one of the said monsters, you will have a uh, one in... Um, it's either 200... 250 or 300 chance um, all of them are different uh, if you're wondering what the best rate is it's dark beasts but there's only a couple spawns and as you saw earlier in this video people are, are definitely looking to camp that and as abyssal demons here which is not much different there are a ton of available spawns so p ring a couple of these not wearing a p ring um, the chances of getting one to spawn are actually pretty high so I'm not gonna mess with that I'll just spawn one myself and right, so let's just pretend we got one to spawn 7, 4, 1, 10. All of them are very simple. I think you can just pray against them. You don't even have to do anything. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this one hits quicker. We'll have to test that because I don't remember if I tested that. Yeah, as you can see, it does hit pretty quick. But, uh, again, just pray melee. That's how most of them are in the real game. I'm thinking about adding the... Um, so when I add the second batch, I'll add in extra, um, you know, mechanics. Just like, you know, like the gargoyle has a different, a couple different mechanics. We'll go with that one. Uh, so I have a P-Ring on, so odds are we'll get something good. Let's just kill a couple and see whatever. First item I get, I'll show off. Or I'm just never going to get one. That, that I mean. uh, So the three main items, uh, let me see. I probably have them on my bank. We have, nope, I don't have them in my bank. All right, so you can, uh, you can check the drop tables if you want off of the uh, thingy right here. We'll just go to, like, nuclear. And uh, they have drops based off of the original monster, but improved. So, um, I don't know why I said improved that way. But, like, as you can see, they have some uh, similar drops, just higher amounts. And then they have some extras, just keys, Mr. Boxes. Um, they have Master Clue on their actual table, full totem, small cash bag. This, I believe, is 1 to 10 mil, 1 GP to 10 mil, anywhere in between. And then this one is 1 to 100. Um, and then you have the three rare items, the ones that people are going to go for. So, for starters, with the internal ring, it has some teleports. Uh, very good teleports. Teleports you to places that you don't normally... Um, uh, that you don't normally have... You know, you can't normally get to so easily, especially for this one. So, this is... I guess if you were really going to grind all three items out, this is the one you'd want first. So you can teleport here to Dark Beasts. But like I said limited spawns and already people know that this is one of the better ones i'd probably do the demons myself um you have skeletal wyverns which is a teleport that's pretty nice because otherwise you'd have to walk there from port serum um slayer tower teleports you to the top slayer cave teleports you closer to the smoke devils and then ankus are a very popular monster because they're afk and drop some decent things uh, and uh, uh, the imbued heart does what it's supposed to do brings it to 110 uh, I don't know entirely what it was supposed to increase. I think it was like a percentage off of your max level. So I think it was 10. So I think it might be 109. Either way, that's fine. That's pretty nice. And um, if I'm not mistaken, from whatever level you are, it'll take you to 110. So 
Uh, if you trade this over to like a level three, it, it will would be interesting to see how that works out. And then the last item is the Sierra's Blessing, which is a blessing, so it goes in your arrow slot. It has plus five range bonus, plus five mage bonus, and then it has plus five prayer bonus. Um, so it's a pretty, it's it's literally the best arrow slot item, especially if you mage. Um, for range, it, if you're using darts, it's good, or if you're using crystal bow, it's good, but obviously, like, the twisted bow I was just using is um, requires arrows. And then it also teleports you to a nice little shrine in the desert, which you can recharge your prayer, and use some backwards big chest, because I was too lazy to edit that. I noticed that at the last second, and I was just like, nah, nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything about that. Most of this update was the stuff that was recently polled, so if you're very familiar with that poll, you'll know what a lot of these things are. Um, basically, like, the third age armor now has prayer bonus, the, um, the, um, the, uh, the clue scrolls now behave differently, they, if you open up a hard clue scroll, you'll get only hard items, and then the graceful shop prices were reduced. The Zora uh, totem now costs 50k instead of 75k. And then the big one uh, would be the skilling pets. So I'll get those up. Alright, we'll start off with the Slayer pet. Slayer pet, you have a 1 in 250 chance of receiving it upon completing a Slayer task. Did go with the Dark Beast. Cute little guy. Works out very well. Really like this one. Next one we have is the... Uh, if I can learn how to type. Is the Herbler one. And the Herbler one is a little tortoise. Follows you around, little guy. This is from Herbler. You can have a, I believe it's one in 8,000 from cleaning herbs, one in 5,000 from making potions. I listed the full numbers, which I should have just been reading them out. Yeah, that was right. One in 5,000 upon making it, one in 8,000 upon cleaning herbs. So this one's a little more rare. I'm sort of trying to base the rarities on how easy it is to actually train the skills. Obviously, you're going to be making tons of potions and cleaning herbs and whatnot, so there's that. Um, next up we have is the Prayer Pet. Yeah, that was at 80. And this one, uh, let me get the rates out for you. Let's see this little guy. This thing, I think this thing's pretty cool. I, was, I wasn't sure how people would respond to that, but there is actually somebody who got it um, pretty early and uh, he likes it, so that's all that matters to me. <laughs> if, you, if you have any feedback on these, you can let me know. Um, you have a 1 in 3,000 chance of getting it while burying bones manually, which is just an inventory, and then 1 in 4,000 from using them on an altar. Um, and then I guess I'll be nice and give you a little bit of sneak peeks. So, uh, obviously all three of these pets are on the forums. People already know what they are, and they know how to get them. I'm going to show off the other ones in this video. So, if you're watching this video, you get that as an advantage. You get to see what the other pets look like. And if you absolutely hate one, you can let me know. So I can make it. Adjustments. If like everybody hates a certain one, so we'll go off with the uh, the fletching one. This is the fletching pet. It's gonna look familiar. Chompy chat. I think it makes sense. It could either work for hunter or fletching, and I think it works more for fletching, especially since there is already hunter pets, S sort of. <laughs> uh, so this thing already was in game basically, so it looks pretty good, and there's no problems with it. Next up we have is the uh, cooking one. So this is the cooking one. I think I just fucked that up. It did spawn a nice little null. It's not a little dwarf, I promise you that. Nope, that's not it either. Eight, one, three, six. Did I not type that? I didn't. Burnt meat. So yeah, a little troll. I think he's pretty cool. He's a little fat. <laughs> they do have examine options and everything like that, but I'd, I'd rather just wait for you guys to, to uh, <laughs> take a look at that. So that's cool. Uh, next one we have is going to be the smithing pet, the internal flame. Smithing was kind of a weird skill to do it for, but I... Nope, 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 not that. I uh, kind of like how this turned out. This little internal flame dude follows you around. I think it sort of fits. Could fit for fire making. It, it might be a little confusing if people first saw it. Um, they might think that that's a, uh, you know, that, that that's a uh, fire making pet, but then there's the bird. So hopefully that'll, there won't be too much confusion with that. Um, la crafting one, which, which is the last one, is a golden little sheet. I think it's cute. So I made it like a little too, just so it follows you around. Is, am I missing anyone? I feel like I'm missing one. I don't see it, so whichever one I'm missing, I don't know. But uh, yeah, those are there. So the skilling pets are going to be coming out in uh, batches, so there will be three more coming out in the next update batch, and then the last couple will come out in the, uh, the final one. But... That's it for the update. The first raid monster was released, Tecton, and you saw the footage of that. Um, let me know what you think about that. 
And uh, I think I'll leave the video there. I am actually going to try to make daily videos this week. I think I'm going to try to have one video out every single day. A ton of different things, challenge videos, opening like mystery boxes and stuff like that. We'll see. I, I definitely think that um, if we're going to revive the server, I can't just, you know, work on it. I think I have to sort of show off more interesting things than just like these kind of videos because... Uh, I, I need to give you guys a reason to play. I need to show off the fun, you know, the fun aspects and everything. So I'm going to try to work on uh, daily videos and uh, obviously uh, look forward to tomorrow for the next one.